Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Pran, I host on Click Digest and this is the U Euphoria from U which has been just launched and in this video we are going to give you a 10 point review where we are going to talk about 10 most important factors of this device which includes the design, build quality, display quality, audio and video playback quality, we'll give you a camera test, we'll tell you whether it supports USB OTG, we'll tell you whether you can move applications to SD card, We'll also tell you what all you get with this phone, software features, hardware features, specification, benchmarks and a quick gaming review of the U Euphoria from Micromax. Let's get started. I'll start with the design and build quality review and the design of the phone is fairly interesting. On the sides of the phone you have this uh, metal frame which encloses the phone which gives it a premium and nice look which makes it look very in fact upmarket. It comes in two different colors black and white and the white color comes with this champagne gold uh, rim whereas the black one comes with a buffed silver. On the rear you have an 8 megapixel camera which comes with autofocus LED and there is also a secondary mic hole uh, which is right next to the camera module. The speakers are placed uh, here at the bottom on the rear. The buttons are placed on the right hand side with the power wake up key in the middle and the volume rocker buttons above and below the same. On top you have 3.5 mm audio, left side is clean and on the bottom there is a standard charging port. The back of the phone comes off and it houses a 2230 milliamp battery. There are two sim card slots. It, it's a 4G capable phone and it comes with a micro SD card slot as well. You can expand the memory. It comes with 16 GB internal memory out of which 10.8 GB is available to the user. So when it comes to aesthetics, design, look and build of the phone, it looks solid, it feels solid and it's a very nice phone to operate with one hand because it's not very bulky, it's just a 5 inch display phone. The next section is the display itself. The display here is a 720p high definition display which comes with an option of on screen or bezel button so you can select between the on screen and bezel buttons in the settings that you can do in Cyanogen on the devices like OnePlus as well which is a much more premium device than this. The display quality here is excellent and I must tell you that the viewing angles are very impressive. This is a very steep angle to look at a display and you can see the screen very clearly. Let me show you a quick video playback so that you can judge the quality of display here and see for yourself what I am talking about. It's a rich, vibrant and colorful dis display and it does not disappoint us at all. After video playback and display quality, let's talk about the music and audio playback quality. Let me play back a music track for you and show you how loud it is when it comes to audio. The speakers are at the bottom on the rear of this phone. And when I place it on a surface, the sound tends to get muffled. So the speakers are fairly loud and they are very audible and I have also tested the earphones which are supplied with this. And there is also a very good uh, app which is pre-installed, it is called Audio FX, which lets you play with all these levels and you can uh, control these equalizers very accurately and you can also control the bass boost and surround sound. You can also select the reverberation levels. So it gives you a very pleasurable experience when it comes to music and the quality of audio on these earphones is also very good. Now let's jump to our next section which is the camera. So in this uh, quick camera hands on I'm gonna show you the modes that it supports and the settings that it supports and also show you some samples. So I'm just gonna pull in some objects here and I'm gonna click some pictures for you to show you how well it takes these pictures. So let's just touch to focus and shoot here. I'm touching on different objects at different times. This is automatic mode. You can change between these modes just by uh, swiping down and it changes the modes. Let me put it in HDR and then try taking a picture. So this is uh, an HDR shot which takes slightly longer compared to a normal uh, picture. Now let me take a front facing camera picture of myself and uh, show you how well it looks. I'm just gonna take it in automatic mode. 
so I have taken some clicks and previous to creating this video I also clicked some more shots so this is the front facing 5 megapixel camera shot and you can see that there is good clarity in the shot and it's a fairly wide shot so you can take a group picture with your friends this is an HDR shot which gives you close to natural uh, exposures and very natural colors as you can see here this is the object and uh, this is the picture which comes out to be very very close and let me show you some more pictures that I have taken with this uh, so this is an automatic mode where the focus has been on this car and you can see that the clarity here as well is good the colors are slightly uh, washed out because of too much artificial light this is a general pan shot that I have taken off my desk and you can see that the objects here are clearly visible I can zoom into this headphones and you can see the fabric uh, in these headphones is clearly visible this is the kind of clarity and uh, pixel clarity that the rear 8 megapixel camera is capable of delivering which does impress me you can really zoom into the parts of the picture and it is still viewable and does not break so the 8 megapixel camera at the rear is doing a very good job it has an aperture of f2.2 uh, and this is a small full high definition video that i have taken just a 2 to 3 seconds video just to show you the video playback quality of the videos that you record uh, with this camera and i like what i see here it is uh, able to deliver good quality results when it comes to camera so camera does tend to impress me and it gives you good sharp detailing and clarity in macro modes like these this is uh, the object which i have clicked and this is the clarity of image that you can see here so i'm really really impressed with the front facing as well as the rear facing camera both are doing a very good job here after camera let's talk about uh, benchmarks and gaming we tested on n22 and we got a score of 22900 or approximately 23,000 which is not uh, very encouraging or not very high uh, per se but it's not bad either it's a mid-range phone and we have to consider that it's a 7,000 rupees phone and at that price it's a well uh, performing phone it does not come with a very powerful chipset a moderately powered snapdragon 410 qualcomm 64 bit chipset which is very efficient when it comes to power consumption as well and moderate when it comes to performance it's a 1.2 GHz quad-core CPU and is coupled with 2 GB of RAM and there is 16 GB internal memory. We also ran the uh, benchmarks on Nina Mark 2 which is a graphics benchmark utility and we got a score of 54.1 frames per second which means that it is capable of handling moderate to light games. Let me give you a quick gameplay to show you how well it does when it comes to gaming. The touch responsiveness of the display is fairly good here. Now let us find out whether it supports uh, OTG, USB OTG pen drives and USB OTG cables or not. We are just gonna plug this USB OTG pen drive and see if there is some notification that pops up and we are also going to see in storage settings whether it shows uh, some external USB drive which is connected to the phone or not. So there is no notification as yet and let's check the storage settings now. So we just go to settings and storage and we can swipe down and you can see that there is no usb uh, drive that it has detected so just to be sure i tested it with the a usb otg cable and a regular pen drive as well so let's find out whether it does support usb otg or not and it looks like that there is no support for usb otg there is no notification on connecting a pen drive or remove removing a pen drive and there is uh, no notification in the storage section as well so the U usb otg functionality unfortunately is not supported which is supported on the uureka let me show you how well it loads websites especially websites with heavy images like ours so i'm just gonna open intellectdigest.in and it's loading the website as we speak this website contains a lot of graphics so it generally takes some time to load and it's almost loaded and it's fully loaded now you can see that the scrolling is fairly smooth the Adreno GPU is doing its magic here 
and the clarity and the legibility of text is fairly good so the internet browsing experience is very pleasing here we also tested whether or not you can move apps to SD card on the UU Eureka and looks like you can move apps to SD card this is a game that we have installed and we have also installed an SD card on this phone and there is an option of move to SD card in the apps section where you can just hit and move the data onto the SD card which will save you some internal memory and you can install more applications and move your data onto the SD card that you can install on this phone. Next up let's talk about the software and blotware that you get on the phone. It comes with the Google suite of applications. It comes with some extra applications from Cyanogen and uh, some other vendors which includes Batten which lets you back up your apps and apps data. There is audio FX. These are some of the features that are additional on this phone. Uh, Nina Mark 2 we have installed on this. There is a theme engine which comes installed because of Cyanogen and there is a screencast application which is very handy. You can use it and there is universe app by you so there is little to no blotware on this phone and it comes with very limited number of applications which come pre-installed in terms of software version it runs android lollipop 5.0.2 right out of the box which is the lollipop build and there is also cyanogen mode 12 which is the latest from cyanogen software which comes pre-installed on this phone and you can also root this phone and install custom roams if you want it supports routing and uh, you supports uh, routing officially and it will uh, repair your phone and will not void your warranty in case you root your phone before i give you a call quality demo there is a feature that is special on cyanogen mode 12 true caller has been integrated with the dialer and you can uh, activate it by default when you open the phone it will give you uh, option of configuring true caller for your uh, system which is very cool let me place a call and put it on speaker to give you an audio quality demo when it comes to speaker phone or call quality it comes with the two microphones for superior noise cancellation the smart phone network you are to one to one how many options have been changed please listen carefully before the sound clarity is good and let me turn off uh, Wi-Fi and show you how good is the 3G signal reception here and we'll uh, check the same in the top bar here. Let me turn on the mobile data. You can see that the network strength or the network reception here is very strong and we have just turned off Wi-Fi and we are waiting for 3G to latch and it is giving us uh, HSDPA plus which is good quality high speed 3G let me open our website and see how well it loads on 3G to test how fast the 3G is here so it was already open in the browser and it's reloading the same this is happening on Airtel Delhi 3G network and the loading seems to be fast enough comparable to how we see on the Wi-Fi network and the website is almost loaded you can see that it's working well and scrolling well the pinch to zoom is working fine and the uh, phone seems to be doing good when it comes to loading websites on 3G speeds we have started using this phone today only so we won't comment too much on battery life but we'll keep testing it for uh, two to three days and we'll come back with a battery test review so there is a separate video on battery tests if you want to watch the playlist for all the euphoria videos are provided in the description section below so you can check out our other videos summing up my quick 10 point review of the euphoria i find this phone to be a brilliant phone when it comes to display audio video and multimedia consumption it comes with dual sim 4g and the camera also seems to be very impressive when it comes to picture qualities as well as the video quality with the rear facing camera the optics are well sorted although the megapixels may not be very high on the rear camera but the quality comes out to be nice the gaming performance on moderate games is also very good and for a price of 7000 rupees you get a good moderate performance a very good design a beautiful display good audio and video playback dual sim support expandable memory but otg support is missing 
सो इट्स अ वेल सॉर्टेड फोन एंड द प्रोज आर मच हायर कंपेयर टू द कॉन्स ऑफ दिस फोन सो इट इज अ थम्स अप फ्रॉम अस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परचेज वन फॉर योर सेल्फ आई एम लिविंग अ डायरेक्ट लिंक टू परचेज वन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन बिलो वेयर यू कैन बाय इट इट्स एक्सक्लूसिवली सेलिंग ऑन एमेजॉन इंडिया If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for latest video updates and more videos on euphoria press the subscribe button and check the playlist in the description section below this video this is your host Rohit Khurana signing off i hope to see you in my next video thank you